All right, we're back at Testiusa Village. Um, now I realize now that the um, the village is split into two different parts, uh, and you can't get there on the surface. You have to go through the basement to get to the other side, which is where the inn is. Uh, there's a few things that we want to grab before we do that. How many times have you farted in your life? No, I haven't really kept count. Thanks for asking, though. Alright, so there's our caffeine pill. To the north, past the towered area, there's a aloe vera. Go up here. Here we get a mangrove rod. What is that? It's a weapon for Cruller. Oh. And it has 25% chance to cause poison. That's certainly better than the thing I just bought for him. I don't know why I would have bought that if I, if I had known that I was going to be getting something better. I don't know. Didn't really say, hey, don't, don't buy a weapon for Cruller. It said you might want to buy a weapon for Cruller in the Lost Village. Oh well. It says if you equip this weapon, always have the vaccine equipped to nullify the poison. So I'm guessing that it does poison to him. Alright. Alright, so then we can grab the turtle vest, which I already did, and then it says go into the westernmost building to go underneath to the west side of the village. It's getting a little bit dark in here. Hold on, I need to turn on a light so I can read my guide. says that there's going to be some dynamite in this chest. Q. Now ignore the path going north currently. Just keep on going to the west. Down the stairs from here, we come out to see a little item shop stall. Go into the building behind it for some berries. I see you are traveling warriors in need of powerful weapons. An old geezer like me has no use of a knife anymore, except for chopping vegetables, mayhaps. I will give this knife to you. If you count all the engraved faces in the village and tell me the correct number. If you fail, I shall continue to chop veggies until I die or until some warriors with basic math skills accept the challenge. You're on! Okay, the moment of truth is finally here. What is the magic number? Alright, if you want, you can actually take the time to count, but, uh... I know the answer, and I guess I'll just go ahead and tell you, because it's right here in the guide. Uh, if you're playing the HD version, the answer is 8, and if you're playing the 16-bit version, the answer is 7. Enjoy your slaughtering, or chopping. I've got the master key. I don't know if that's... But this isn't a knife, it's a key. Yes, but you will get a knife if you find the chest the key belongs to. Oh, very interesting. Alright, on the southern end of the west side you'll find the inn. That's what I want to do.
That is this building right here. Nice little lullaby plays, and you'll arise to find that you have slept very well, and you feel good to go. Alright, so what's next? When you're ready, head all the way up the stairs at the west end to enter the headquarters of the Secret Society. Looks like there's no weapon shop at this town, so yeah. The weapon shop in Zahanka is really where you wanted to uh, equip yourself. Secret Society, I think they cut their hair to get rid of the lice. <laughs> okay. And this should be it, this should be the headquarters. I once sneaked into the headquarters of Secret Society. After they caught me, they cut my dad's salary. Wow. Okay. So obviously they pull a little weight in this town. We have something we need to do. Why don't you three look around? We'll find you in a few hours. Um, okay. Catch you on the flip, kids! <laughs> You're so hip, Crawler. Catch you on the flip? Just trying to relate to the kitties. Speak their lingo, you know? How did we ever end up working together? There was once a man who tried to fool us. Okay. We commend your efforts. Talk to Sashir. We commend your efforts. State your business. That looks like Murdo. The sun rises upon the harbor and the work begin the world begins anew. Just a moment. That was definitely Murdo. Damn, you still remember that? He's ready to see you. Alright. Get an herb here. Alright, let's talk to Head Honcho over here. This must be Sashir. Oh, look at him, he looks very menacing. By my beard! Rudy! <clears throat> Um, crawler? Right, of course! Tea? We'll pass. Seems this isn't a courtesy visit. What brings you here? We have some children with us. They have something you need to see. Nothing children could obtain would be of any interest to the society. I respectfully disagree. In fact, I believe the society's mandate requires you to examine what these children have found. You always were a merchant in the guise of an intellectual. You do have me intrigued, though. Very well. Bring them to me. I better not be disappointed. Okay. That's simple enough. We're in, kids. You get to meet the head honcho. So what do they know of the Lost Age? More than you can imagine. But lately, they've been particularly interested in the Legend of the Architects. You think this compass has something to do with it? You'll have something interesting to say, I'm sure. You're not telling us something. Sharp kid. No, there were rumors that the Goa man had discovered more concrete evidence of the legend's validity, and they were constructing, well, something to prove it. They referred to it as the bridge. Who knows how literal that should be taken, though. Of course, it's unlikely they ever managed to finish it, considering they were all... Well, anyway... I don't think you should concern yourselves with it. Let's all take a rest and get ready for the meeting tomorrow. Let's, I'll go out for a drink. See you guys later. See ya! Go ahead and rest, kids. I'll be awake for a while. <coughs> Priller, how are you doing? Enjoying the time alone? Sashir, you remembered my name this time. Of course, of course. Memory's not so good lately. Sure, 
What can I do for you? <coughs> I must confess something. Okay? We've been following you both for some time. Not spying, per se, but every now and then we check up on you. That doesn't surprise me. Yes, well, this might. There are anomalies in Rudy's travels. Times and places we can't verify. His sickness as well. Doesn't it strike you how virulent the disease was? Rudy's not a weak man. Whatever he caught wasn't found in Reja. You're accusing Rudy of... Rudy's value to society is question unquestionable, and no accusations are being made. I'm merely suggesting that whatever you two have found be secured by us as quickly as possible. Good night, Sashir. Good night, my friend. So how was your drink? Potent. This is very unnerving. Look at all these bald men with no eyes. <coughs> Welcome, everyone. I trust your nice were restful ones. We've been informed that our guests have discovered something of importance to the society. Normally we would be skeptical of any such claims, but the two adults standing before us are no strangers to our group. Before we begin, I must reiterate that I, what I hope is obvious. What is discussed within these walls is to remain here. No exceptions. If you're a society of intellectuals, why keep your discovery secret? Some things are better known than said, my child. Now please hand over the item. That was not part of the agreement. For me to inspect. Rudy, still so quick to judge. Go ahead, Hostin. You probably hear my dog's collar in the background. He's a... Uh, trying to look for something to do right now. My my! Craftsmanship is incredible. Have you been able to use it? No, we're not even sure what it's for. I see. Well, certainly you've discerned that it's not a typical compass. We figured that out, yes. We may have something that is of use. Know that if we're to assist you, and any information you acquire will belong to us as well. Of course. Look at him. He's practically licking his lips. However, I'll need you to retrieve it for us. In the basement of this building, there's a book that has been guarded for many generations. We have scrolls that indicate that book can be used to decipher ancient secrets. Wouldn't it be easier if one of your assistants brings the book to us? I prefer that you all handle it, considering this is consider this as a trial. Let them pass. That guy looks like such a villain. That book is very valuable to our society. If the object has anything to do with the Lost Age, then its secrets may be found in that manuscript. How you use it, of course, is up to you. We look forward to your findings. Yes, of course. This meeting is dismissed. You may go now. Alright. Alright, kids. Let's get this book and figure this out. I swear, this is Murdo. This way, please. Alright. It says that the Secret Society basement is a new dungeon exclusive to the HD Enhanced Port of Pure Solar. Okay. So you're playing 16-bit version, this, this whole part is not going to happen whatsoever. And I'm guessing this is the entrance to the basement. Alright, let's do it. Diving in. From the start, go west. The small room in the southwest corner has a gold bar. Now proceed eastward past the entrance. Chest to the north contains an apple. Where is it? Hmm. Ah, oh, there it is. Apple. I have an apple. 
I have a pain. Right, it looks like we're fighting some more water enemies here. I think I'm going to want to probably do exactly what I've been doing before, and that's have uh, Dessa do his gather and fireball. Because there is going to be a uh, a boss at the end of this dungeon. Whoa, nice! There will be a boss at the end of this dungeon that I uh, probably need to be saving my resources for, so I better use my MP to to do damage rather than take too much damage and have Alina use all of her healing magic. Which I feel she's still going to need to use some. And Odessa is probably going to be using a little bit of magic as well, so uh, I, think, I think this will probably be my best strategy here. I'm hoping it will be. Easy. All right. All right. Now we're gonna go south and find an herb in the next room. Uh, even further south is a little nook with a U bow. <coughs> 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 see how good that is. Wow, plus 8 to attack. Plus 2 to AP. Should I equip that? I don't know right now. It increases her agility by 2 and her attack by 8. That's a lot. And right now she's not really using she's not really using magic, so I'm going to I'm going to keep that on her for the extra damage and extra agility. All right. After that, um, continue west. Just on the platform, you'll see entering the next room contains a potion. Uh, I guess this is the next room here. Oh my gosh. That was a critical hit. Still, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, as soon as Alina needs to use any magic, I'll switch her weapon back. And then... I'm not sure what I'll be using for the boss fight. I guess, I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. Alright, dude! I guess I got a new spell. <laughs> Alright, so that platform has got a potion up here? No, this platform has a potion. To the west, a door leads to a tiny room containing an early sphere. What is a sphere? A sphere. An item which restores both HP and MP. Awesome. After leaving that, uh, go south all the way east until you hit a wall. Examine the spot for a pepper powder. By going north up the stairs, you'll be able to retrieve a mana potion. Alright. And that is all for this area. Proceed south. The next room is just a long hallway with a save point and green chili.
Well, thankfully the battles in this dungeon haven't been hard at all. And it's not a very long dungeon, so no big deal. Oh, you're in a level! Hey, Crawler. I'm gonna see really quickly what Odessa's new spell does. No, I guess I can't. Right, green chili. Safe point. Alright, now let's actually take a look at the next boss. It's called the Blue Crab, and apparently it is fire based. Says this should be a pretty easy fight. Have everybody gather and then go nuts with magic. The crab itself will go down before you know it. After the fight, uh, go ahead and put your towels back on. You may now Alright, so I'm gonna equip the dragon suit because it is fire based. I'm just gonna keep color with the antidote. Alright. Let's do a little bit of healing. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be a cinch. I don't even need to put on that other bill yet right now. Alright, well, let's go ahead. Save again. Now that I have re equipped, I'm gonna head down. Oh, maybe the turtle vest. Let me think about that. Let's sort of us go well on anybody. Forgot that I had that. Uh, both Rudy and Odessa might benefit. I think Rudy will benefit the most, so I'm gonna give it to him. Alright, now for the boss. Let's do it. Is that it? I can see it. Yes, it's the book! Hey, can you hear this? What's going on? <clears throat> oh, look, a big crab! He looks like the crab in the first dungeon. Alright. Annual. Everybody gather, 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 gather. Oh yeah, especially if they keep on attacking Rudy, this is not going to be hard at all. Austin's good to start doing Avocado Blast. Lena. She's good to start doing Blizzard. Desomnia. I guess that wakes you up or something? I don't know. Let's get for Fireball. And we're gonna wanna do Toxic Glare. Yeah, heck, let's just go rock and roll. Heaven Blow is a healing spell, so let's do Air Blow. So here we go, this is basically the strategy. Start pummeling them with magic. Pretty simple strategy. And then we can eat the crab afterwards, have a giant crab boil. Oh, maybe I just did it. Boiled crab. Crab is like my all-time favorite food. It sucks that it's so expensive because I wish I could just eat crabs every night. I have a feeling that humanity kind of overfishes them and has been depopulating the ocean pretty badly lately. Not to mention poisoning the well, so to speak. All that nuclear waste and oil we've been spilling into the oceans. And all the plastics and other trash we throw in there. It's a bad, bad mess. Alright. Lena is now going to heal Cruller because he's a big baby. Let's rock and roll! Air blow! Let's 
He's got a total of 960 HP, so he should be pretty much dead by now. There we go. Easy. Yeah, so that boss was absolutely nothing. And Alina gets a level up. I knew it! Of course the Sheer was aware of this monster. That sneaky old bastard! I've got the leather book. Here it is! Finally we have the book! Yes, it's a book alright, but I can't understand a thing in it. Why don't we leave this basement and go f look for a more friendly setting? <coughs> now Lasso should be able to help me out here, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Warp. Wait, warp? That was, that was not a warp, that was a radar. There we go, warp. Yeah? There we go, easy. Alright. Turn in the page real quick. Um. Okay, so... They're not waiting for me here or anything? I'm gonna talk to Murdo again. I know that's you, man. This way, please. What is, man? What is? <clears throat> so I'm gonna go take a rest. Yeah. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> if there are instructions, I can't find them. It must be encoded. That's a shock. I'll let you work on that while I go catch something to eat. Yeah, good idea. I'm going with you. Oh boy, this is hard. Allie, this thing is thick enough to get to beat goats to death with. How are we going to decode it? Doesn't seem to be any real link between the book and the compass. Is Shashir mad, or does he know something we don't? I don't know. I don't think they'd waste our time. They want whatever secrets this compass holds as badly as we do. Hmm. It's an ancient language, but there are words here that they just don't look right. What do you mean? Well, I think they're misspelled. But how could someone be smart enough to construct a book this size and misspell words? Because it wasn't an accident. My head hurts. I can't believe how nonsense this looks. Maybe we should rest a bit, then we can go back for this mystery book again. I just rested, come on, man. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just woke up, but... Eh. Hmm. Am I... Am I dreaming? Alright, Alina's dream. This area was cut from the original game, but has been restored for pure solar HD. Most of the frogs here are decoration, but you can speak to the ones that sit still. Oh, hello, Alina. Are you trying to figure something out? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. So I'm in a little maze here. I'm just gonna follow the left wall. See where that takes me. Here's a frag. Hey frag. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q uh P Q S T U V X Y Z A B C D E F R G H I. Huh. R O T. Well, what do you say about that? Okay. 
Yeah, so the the grayed out letters were R, O, and T in that one. But also there's like a nonsensical nonsensical order to some of these letters. I'm guessing the R O T is really what's important there. Some kind of a hint. Uh, what is this? It says here that you have to talk to two frogs that are sitting still. Two frogs that give you hints before the uh, the one with the answer to the puzzle shows up. <coughs> so I need to find that second frog, which is probably this one. The secret Mr. X hit a number I promised not to tell you. I am not telling you anything, or am I? So X I I I. Give me 13. R O T X I I I. Those are two hints I got there. There might be one more hint. Just have to find the third frog. Or the frog with the answer. It's not here. Retrace my steps. Yeah, that's the beginning area. Or maybe that's where I want to go for the answer. Mr. Froggy, you up here? No, he's not here. By the looks of it, the third frog should be... If I'm going the right way, yeah. It should be up here. <clears throat> there he is. What word am I seeking? Rot, dot, or hot? He's looking for rot. What number am I seeking? Thirteen. Congratulations, you've solved the riddle. Here's a reward. I've got a pomac. His hands armor, and a panache. Huh, that's weird. Rot 13. Alright, the word is rot, the number is 13. Rot 13 is a simple cipher that replaces each letter in a message with the letter 13 letters later in the alphabet. This apparently is how the book was encoded. If you manage to solve the riddle on your first try, you'll receive a pomac and a panache. Okay, doesn't really tell me what those do, but it tell, tells me how to decode the book. Who? What? Rot 13, that's it! Alina, are you alright? What's all the fuss about? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, Rot 13 is the answer. What's that anyway? An old method of encoding something. Take each letter and move it 13 letters ahead. And? Jackpot! Nice job! So we have three words, point, zero, and north. <coughs> point zero is to the north? What's point zero? Sounds like it's pointing us towards the Mayho Mountains. Who knows, but we should inform Sashir. Absolutely not. Wait, why? Well, you said it yourself, he's not to be trusted. Let him assume we're still at a loss, at least until we figure out what this is. Are you okay? I'm fine. Do you have a map? We have the book, don't we? The Mayho Mountains are a tad more complicated than that. I have maps of the area with me. We should be fine. We should speak to Sashir first. Going back the way we came will waste time. I'm sure he has alternative means of getting there. Sweet! Some kind of transporter? <laughs> no, nothing quite that elaborate. Alright. Okay, I gotta control the party back. 
And I think I want to save before I continue on. I'm just going to go ahead and end this episode here, and we'll figure out what we're doing next. <laughs>